Okay, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is put, you know, the skillet, which is already hot, on the stove, and I'm gonna add some olive oil in it. Now, I cut the chicken, as you can see, chicken breast, and I season them with uh, lemon juice, and then some salt and pepper. This feels so weird, you know, cooking on here. And now, I'm gonna put them. Whoa! In here. So we're gonna brown them in the lower heat possible. So here's a close up of the chicken. It's already browning. Of course, it's, it's the oil went all over, but yeah, on the low heat. So I'll keep them turning and browning once it is sealed on the outside you know with the low heat with the high heat we start to cook it on the inside so it's crispy and tender oh here it feels to be cooking and i'm holding an onion you'll see in a second i'll take a tennis ball size onion for two chicken breasts it's going to be enough i am going to peel it And now I am going to cut it into six big chunks instead of making a small cut. Today we're in need of big chunks. That's what I'm doing. And I will add them onto the skillet. I'm going to take two Italian peppers and cut them into... First I'm going to remove the seeds that are on the inside. This is kind of big looking messed up, you know, just like that. All done. And now I'm gonna cut it into strips. Now I will be adding this to the pan. And with a wooden spoon, I'm gonna mix it together a little bit. I'm gonna take a uh, pepper that it's not grounded. And I will take like this amount and I will spread it all over the pan. And now we will add some water into it. And I'm gonna put it it's a lid on top. just so it cooks together, all together. Well, this is cooking, I'm gonna take um, this semi-sun-dried tomatoes. These are small tomatoes, just ones that we put in here, people in the, in the garden, they put them to dry, as you can see, the stem is dry and whatnot. And now I'm gonna wash them first. And once they are nice and clean, I'm gonna cut them and have if you don't happen to find these tomatoes, which are, it's, to be honest, it's even difficult to find them in here, they are extra juicy on the inside, just get some tomatoes, not to sell tomatoes, some tomatoes that are juicy, you know, ones that you can cook, because we want, you know, to create a semi-sauce with them, so I'm just going to cut them in half, and yeah, I will add them later on. In the meantime, I'm going to remove the lid, as you can see, and I'm going to turn the chicken just a little bit so it gets nice and tender all over. And this is something that you have to be patient to be cooking this. Oh, so as you can see, uh, I have to say that this recipe, my mom, who is the one that taught me to do this, 
after my grandma, and I guess I can always suppose after her grandma. Um, she used red peppers for this, but I have to admit that I don't like red peppers. This is why I use Italian peppers. Red bell peppers, right? So right now I will add some uh, cognac, some brandy, and yeah, I will add just to amp up the taste of everything. Now, fear not, this is not swimming in a pool of liquid. Actually, it might be even, there might be even too little liquid. Let's just turn chicken. Of course, if you want something more tender, use chicken thighs, but I am not a big fan of chicken thighs. I, I am a chicken breast person kind of person, so. But yeah, all this water that you're seeing in here, oh man, it's getting difficult, you know, to turn things. Looking at the viewfinder from the camera. All this liquid, not water, but you know, the liquid that you're seeing here, it's later on gonna be the sauce. So you've got to let it be in here. And all I have to say, guys, is that this, I love fast cooking. This is not something that you cook fast. Hence, this is going to be more savory and flavorful, you know, with the cast iron skillet. <laughs> it's like I get from right now. But the thing is, I don't cook this kind of meals on a regular basis, let alone, you know, meat, even though, you know, chicken, whatever. I'm more of a spare at the moment. That's not the case. I'm more of a vegetarian. Though. I'm trying to say, I just cook these things when I really feel like it, when you really do have time to do so. So, so, I wish you could smell this because it smells delicious, delicious. Um, I know not all of you eat meat. I'm not a big meat eater, but I still eat a little bit. But this needs to be cooked, you know, with its due time. If you're in a hurry, don't do this because it's going to get burned and it's not going to, it's going to be bland. It's going to make no sense. I tend to cook really international, but this is something that, you know, this is a recipe from from my grandma's grandma, or even before that, so this has been here for centuries. I'm trying to say, this is true Mediterranean cooking, it's, it's starting to smell well good, and yeah, all you have to do is to be patient with it, you know, let it simmer, don't make it boil, don't make it, you know, go fast. Not to, you just have to play, you know, with the gas, the electricity, whatever you have. Important, let it simmer and cover it just so it has an even cooking, you know? So now that the onion and the Italian pepper starts to be a bit cooked, you know, it's a bit softer to the touch, I'm going to start adding the tomatoes onto the skillet. I want you to watch this. Remember how crowded it was? Watch it right now. Everything is starting to fade away except the chicken and it started to come together. I'm <clears throat> sorry, frog in my throat. So this is what I'm talking about you guys. You just have to let it simmer and the magic will happen. So we're starting to have the sauce. There's that. So, me being a rebel, I just removed all the uh, tomato peels that they were moving around the sauce. This is just covered right now, doing its thing. Uh, because, yeah, the recipe doesn't call for it, but it bothered me big time, so there's that. And yeah, keep doing its thing. All you need to do to prepare this dish, which is really flavorful, is time. You know, it's not many steps, it's just time, you know, at the kitchen. So let's do it, let's see. So after all the tossing and turning and waiting, this is what we are left with. The sauce should have this uh, runnier consistency. Of course, you're going to have bits and pieces of pepper and onion, but the sauce should have been almost disappear, you know, evaporated. And now I'm going to put it into a dish, and here's that. So, 
this is the final result. As you can see, it's a pretty thick sauce. And yeah, I just put it into the plate. Two pieces is enough for one person. The chicken is super tender, I must say. And then I put some onions, some pepper, some tomato -y sauce, you know, with the oil and everything. We have reduced it. And yeah, that's a quart of my phone. And that's about it. So as you can see, it's nothing crazy out of this world, you know, the looks of it or the preparation. But again, as I said, it's something that's existed for centuries. So do not expect new bell cuisine. This is just, can you hear that? That's a storm. That's a thunder. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I just used eat this with bread, you know, in a first dish. But you could accompany this with some potatoes, fried potatoes, some rice, if you feel like it, but we tend to use it this just as a single dish, just if you, just as you have seen it. So if you like this video, please make sure to let me know, leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.